Update 3 on Typhoon Nipartak, which is located in the Western Pacific Ocean with winds of 140 miles per hour and a pressure of 933 millibars. It's currently moving northwest at 18 miles per hour, position 17.2 degrees north, 133.5 degrees east, and the storm is rapidly intensifying at this point. Indeed, with the outage of satellite imagery, uh, we don't know for sure whether it is indeed this strength or whether it's actually stronger. Uh, many observations are indicating that perhaps it's on the verge of becoming a Category 5. This is why we've put the forecast for a Category 5 for the next two days, and it could impact the southernmost Japanese islands as a Category 5 storm, or even Taiwan, um, which is what one of the worst-case model scenarios are suggesting. The storm's then expected to move towards the north and then northeast, curving towards the Korean Peninsula, where it will probably turn post-tropical. So let's see what we're expecting for it as it moves towards the northwest to become a category 5 there it is um, and then heading towards these islands here um, of course the actual path of the storm is by no means certain so don't really look at the center of the storm look at the watch and warning areas as we enter these next few days and it's covering the whole of Taiwan most of the Ryukyu islands of Japan eastern China including Shanghai into South Korea and then eventually into Kyushu of Japan as well if it moves towards the east it could indeed move west and make landfall in China and we'll hear no more from it probably. So anything could happen with this storm really. Sea surface temperatures are very warm, 30 degrees or higher, that's one of the reasons why we think it will become a category 5 very soon. Wind shear has been low, though um, we have not had any recent imagery of that because of outages with the uh, servers, but this is what it looked like, I think it was yesterday or 12 hours ago, something like that. Um, and wind shear was low ahead of the storm. We must assume that wind shear is still low right now. Uh, this is one of the latest images from the Japanese Meteorological Agency. That is a rather recent image um, of the water vapour situation. Uh, pretty moist conditions, just a little bit of a dry slot ahead of the system, but I don't think it's going to be too detrimental. So we don't have any floater imagery right now, but we do have this uh, rather crude imagery here from the Japanese Meteorological Agency. Uh, it actually is um, rapid scan, so this imagery is every two and a half minutes, and you can see how the storm's been moving towards the northwest very slowly. It's only covering a half hour period, so you don't really get a real grasp of what the storm's been doing. Uh, but you can certainly see that eye there. It looks rather small and could become a well-defined small pinhole eye. Uh, which is commonplace with extremely strong systems. Make no bones about it, it will probably become a Category 5 storm and it could threaten land areas as a Category 5 storm. It's not certain, but just the possibility of that is um, cause for alarm, I would say, for Taiwan and for the southern Ryukyu Islands of Japan. Uh, of course, you can see it on the website, the 413.com forward slash tracker, as it progresses in between updates also. There's the latest infrared image. Uh, from the JMA, the um, wider picture and how it's progressing towards the northwest. Um, at a fair rate of knots as well, 18 miles per hour. 23 tropical storms have formed so far in 2016. 13 of them have become Category 1 typhoons or equivalent, and 6 have gone on to become Category 3 storms. Um, of course, this one being number 6, and Blas may follow in its footsteps, maybe or maybe not remains to be seen whether that one will become a category 3 storm. If you missed it in previous updates, 2016 this storm ends a 199 and a half day streak of no tropical storms in the West Pacific which is almost, was almost at record levels until Nipatak formed two days ago, just shy of 1998's contemporary record of 199 and three quarter days and you'd have to go back 99 years for the last time that was eclipsed. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its forum. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text. And you can add Full 13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat, that's f -O 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 -L 13 We'll probably have more updates on this storm as we get them, um, particularly as it intensifies. Um, we may also be doing some live streaming on it at some point, but we'd not know exactly when. Uh, but until the next update, that's all for now. <laughs>